Hi everyone, I'm Tina Oliveira with the OGM Our Great Minds and we are focused on all kinds of interesting topics and conversations that are really making the world a better place. And today I have the privilege of speaking with Dominique Hurley, who is a good friend of mine who I've known for many, many years. And she does the most incredible thing. She combines art with spirituality and makes beautiful works of inspiration. Welcome, Dominique. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. It's a pleasure being here. So we're just excited to learn all about your art and your process and how you combine those two mediums with spirituality and sort of tell us the story of how you got going into this and, and your successes with it. Certainly. Well, it started back in the late 80s, and I think a lot of your listeners will relate to this. I was in what I thought was my dream job, and after a few years, it no longer was my dream job, but I had it in my mind that this is where I am, and the idea of changing and transition into something new was stressful for me. So the more unhappy I was at work, the more I went on the weekends and created in my studio, in my apartment. And the more paintings I had, then all of a sudden I needed to start sharing them to start liberating space. And that's when I started actually creating work um, to sell. And uh, so in the studio on the weekends, what the painting allowed me to do, because I'm an intuitive painter, it's really um, the painting evolves as each layer is created, because some of my paintings, like the one behind me, is about 20 layers deep. And um, yeah, so the more I created, the more it gave me what it wanted to be. <clears throat> and this allowed for really focused, mindful time in the studio, really getting rid of all those distractions and the stress and just being in a space of peace, creating peace. And that's what people can feel in the artwork now is whatever I'm channeling, I use the word channel, but basically whatever energy work I'm creating with the paintings, people can feel it so they resonate to how it looks but they also resonate because it's all about feeling good cool yeah it's really here and now work isn't it painters mm. I'm a painter myself and absolutely just love being in that space of the present moment and it certainly does that and your work has this way of communicating it's got so many aspects so many different things happening. You could stand in front of one of your paintings and just be there for like two hours studying all of the intricacies and the details, which is really a testament to the amount of work that you put into it. But I feel that people experience, you know, like you said, the energy and the shift when they're in front of your, your paintings. So mm. tell us a little bit about like what they convey, what they're communicating to people. Uh, well, it depends on the style of painting. If I'm doing a soul energy portrait for someone, that's like a two week process where the painting evolves as they evolve, doing energy work together. And I do this all online at a distance. And, and, and there's a whole, it, it basically conveys a visual anchor and energy anchor for those people to sort of go back to every time they sort of feel like they've lost connection with themselves. Uh, the paintings I just create for myself in the studio and that are later for sale, these depend on what I need at the time and or what's being or what's coming through me. I always think with my art, it's not of me, but coming through me. And right. so I tune in to visions that I get, the same kinds of visions that I get when I'm uh, helping clients with meditations or intuitive readings. But with the paintings, it can be evolving as the painting evolves or a vision that I received as a download before I even start. Yeah. Sometimes I'll just get the name of it. And so the imagery can be very abstract or it can be just a, a reminder to connect with your true self. It's all about connecting to your inner guidance, your inner wisdom, being mindful. As you said, um, like it can take me a hundred hours to work on a painting. And so when people stand there, it's like a focus for their mindfulness, a focus for their attention, helping sort of the distractions and stresses of the world to sort of drop off and just to be there um, right. contemplating it. So Beautiful. the imagery can be anything from nature to a little more spiritual, like there's angels on the one behind me with the tree of life. It's a two part piece with the roots and rocks and crystals and chakras. And I can that see. was a chakra enhancing piece. So basically working on every layer of your energy body. Right. 
Beautiful, absolutely stunning. And everything is in this gorgeous, like flow state in your work. It's so, you know, that's, it just seems like it's got all the curves of life coming through it. Mm. I love the idea that you can tap into someone's energy from afar. So you're here and they're there and you tap into their energy and you communicate that through the painting. That's so yeah. uh, amazing. Like, well, some people may be familiar with like Reiki, which is an energy distance healing. I'm a certified naturopath here in Newfoundland and so uh, all the thousands of hours of energy work and 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 that kind of visionary work that I've uh, trained in mm -hmm. I channel it all through the painting and and yes connect to the people and sometimes actually it's really funny because there's a painting that I don't necessarily resonate with and yet it's often the first one to go because it was created for someone like people when they look at my work they know instantly oh my God, this feels good. This is, you know, it's helping them raise their vibration to the next level of where they're looking to be. Mm -hmm. And so whether it be my, you know, the intuitive coaching or the, the painting, it's all about helping bring people to their definition of success um, mm -hmm. and what that means to them, not what society is telling you success is. Right. And so it's about, often in this world, we're so left brain in terms of analytical, logical and all that, and that's so necessary, but we've forgotten the leader, which is your right brain, your intuition, your your gut instinct in the business world they talk about, or just your, your inner guidance. And so following that leadership and the marriage of the left and right brain is mm -hmm. often what my work um, helps Beautiful. people with. it just feels like you're just balancing it all out and that that word intuition it seems to have been left behind over the last few decades but i think it's starting to re-emerge because our intuition is one of our greatest uh, powers and forces yeah. And I love the fact that you are bold enough and courageous enough to bring that out into your work and to stand for it in the midst of, you know, not a lot of people even talking about it. So not only are you creating great art, you're being a great teacher, you are inspiring people, you're intuitive, and it's all coming together through your art. So Thank it's you. an absolute, absolute pleasure to have you with us. Um, Tell us where people can go and look at your art. Do you have an online gallery? What? Yes, most of my work is on my website. So that's DominiqueHurley.com. You have it right behind me that way. <laughs> and uh, in town here in St. John's right now, there's nothing like there's there's exhibitions on and off on my website and the about events. You'll see some of, of what's happening. I have some paintings that are going to Twillingate for the summer, but really my website. And if you explore my blog, that's a way to go. And also uh, on YouTube at Dominique Hurley. I'm, my new passion is videography, just creating nature videos uh, to help inspire people to one, go out and connect and ground in nature but also bringing some of that nature in. All my work is um, just to help people, you know, feel better for a happy, healthy life. And so bringing, sharing the beauty of our nature here in Newfoundland with people has been a way for me to bring, especially all those people in lockdown right now. It's just so good to be able to bring that. And it's another way that I can be creative um, with what surrounds us here. Yeah. For sure. Beautiful. And the beautiful thing as well about all of that is you can take your works and as we globalize and everybody comes online and gets to see your work through your DominiqueCurley.com site, that can be shipped anywhere in the world. Yes, and I ship through UPS. And I mean, right now I'm also looking for manufacturers uh, to use my art in uh, licensing for spiritual products or other other products like that and so there's different ways of accessing art it doesn't always have to be the actual physical painting although that really helps the artist <laughs> and, but all sorts of ways to bring um love and beauty into your life and uh, cool that's what well, i hope to do with my art thank you so so much dominique for spending the time with us for standing for intuitive art and inspiration and the way that you do your work is incredible to me i i truly believe you are one of the greatest geniuses in the mm -hmm. planet when it comes to inspiration art that is tapped into spirituality at a very authentic and profound level so thank you for your work thank you for uh you know never sort of backing down and just standing for what you truly believe in and for for a person who is committed to developing intuition it means so much so you are an inspiration thank you tina for the invitation and the opportunity to share this
I can't wait to get it out there to the world. We'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye. Bye.